I was pretty excited to watch Devil's Knot because I have a, a relatively keen interest in the West Memphis Three. Out of every true crime story, it's not the one I'm most knowledgeable about, but I was aware of it. I was looking forward to seeing how this film would address this. And I started watching it. And while I was watching it, I went to write it down in my list. I keep a list of every film I've ever watched. And when I went to do that, I realised the film was already in the list. I have no recollection of having seen it previously. So I was a bit nervous. I thought, well, if I don't remember it, is this actually going to be any good? Stuck with it. It's just under two hours. And honestly, it was pretty decent. I don't know how I don't remember it before. But I thought it was it was all right. Now, this was released in 2013, directed by Atem Egoyan. I apologise if I mispronounced that. And it's got a pretty great cast, including, including uh, Reese Witherspoon as Pam Hobbs and Colin Firth as Ron Lax. And I can't say 100% how accurate this is, because as I said, I'm aware of the West Memphis Three, but I'm not the most knowledgeable. I've seen a couple of episodes of random documentary series about it, I've never looked into it in too much detail, but from my understanding of the basics of the case, it seems to be pretty accurate. If you're unaware of this case, it's in the 90s and it's about um, these three teenagers who are being accused uh, accused of and on trial for um, the murder of these young children, which you know the media and also the police are saying was done as a satanic ritual. That's a very interesting concept. I don't think I'd seen any film that addressed this kind of thing before. I'm sure there are others, but I hadn't seen anything. Well, I couldn't remember seeing anything like that. And I'll be honest, the film doesn't really focus too much on the satanic aspect. It does in interviews when the teenagers are being questioned. That is obviously something that comes up. But generally speaking, I find that they could have done a lot more with that. They could have focused on it a lot more because certainly the media and the town, um, West Memphis itself at the time, focused a lot on that and kind of said, well, this is obviously what happened. This is obviously why they did it. It was a sacrifice. They drank the blood. I don't think the film focused on that enough. But what I did like about it was particularly the courtroom scenes. I love a courtroom drama. And I think the... I say the set design of the courtroom, I'm assuming it was a set design rather than filmed in an actual courtroom. But I was really pleased with that. I think the structure worked quite well. Certainly the first sort of 20 minutes when they kind of, the boys go missing and then they find out, you know, they've been murdered. It's intense. I think it gets the emotion spot on and the atmosphere is just perfect for what I would have expected. Once they begin to explore the suspects, I didn't feel like they gave us enough time to speculate about what happened. You know, a good crime film, a good mystery will allow you time to make up your own mind and then it'll start feeding in clues and bits of evidence and you can then realise that you were probably way off the mark. But it kind of jumps in at the deep end. And I guess because it's based on a true story, that's not that much of a problem because most people watching this, I assume, will be at least somewhat aware of the case. But just if I had, you know, if I had written this, this film, I would have given us a little bit more time before we started to question people. I think the child actors in this were absolutely brilliant. Obviously, it's not going to be an easy thing to film. It's not going to be a particularly um, pleasant script that they would have been given. And I think they did an absolutely fantastic job. I like... um, Jet Jorgensmeyer as Stevie, I, I thought he was just brilliant and an absolute pleasure to watch for the short time that he was in it. It's quite graphic. It's not over-the-top graphic, but it does show pictures um, of kind of the children post-mortem. And obviously there are reconstructed pictures. It's not the actual crime scene pictures, I'm assuming. But obviously that's just something to bear in mind. I know some people cannot deal with that kind of thing, which I completely understand. But it's, it's, um, yeah, I was really pleased with that because I wasn't expecting it to be as bold and brave as as it was. So the structure is fine. I think from my understanding, it tells the story quite well. 
as I said, it wasn't, it didn't have as much suspense as I would have liked, but because it's based on truth, that wasn't a problem for me. If you are completely unaware of the West Memphis Three, I'd say this is not the best introduction. If I had watched this and then f- first and then was introduced to a documentary about them, I might not have watched the documentary. Or at least I wouldn't have jumped at it because I feel like this is not the most gripping or thrilling. I'm glad I've seen it twice. But I will hopefully not watch it again. Um, it's not bad. If you like crime films based on, on true stories, this is definitely a, a pretty decent one. If you like courtroom dramas, it's got all of the hallmarks of a decent one. Not the best film ever, but you know, it, it's, it's, it's better than I feared it would be. It's, it's pretty good.